Hi art friends! Hello art friends! I've just realised we're both wearing red. <laughs> Ooh. We wanted to do a video today on my favourite markers. I don't think Adam has any kind of preference I, over markers. I hate markers. <laughs> no, no, look at these guys. They're like little honeycombs. These are the very first markers that I ever owned. These are the original Spectrum Noirs. The Noir's. original Spectrum Noir markers. I wish that these strawberry jam bites were still in them though. <laughs> Let's just ignore the fact <laughs> I ate an entire box of chocolate to film this. First of all, I wanted to do a comparison mm. between like new one and an old one. So the old ones, oh, they were a Whoa. lot harder to take the lid off. Can you see how? And sometimes it would accidentally take like the actual plastic off. Oh, whoa, and you'd no see way. The ink cartridge in the middle. And on the other side is the chisel nib. So that's what the older ones look like. Yeah, I forgot it used to be quite a <laughs> wrestle to get the lids on and off. But yeah, this was my first ever set of markers and I love these so oh, much. Oh, I remember as well with these old ones, you used to trap your hand when you close the caps. Yeah, you do sometimes. So these ones are like kind of like a new improved version of the Spectrum Noir marker. They're sort of coloured a bit more like a Copic marker or Copic as people are talking We don't know what to call it. <laughs> um, the ends, I much prefer the new ends to them. They're oh, such a cute... yeah. I mean, the old ones were hexagon shaped, but they had like a little circle button on the top, and these ones are actually hexagon shaped. And it actually says the colour name on the top. Yeah. Which is so handy for Adam because he's colour blind. To quickly show you what they actually look like, so you still get the, the bullet nib on them. I want to compare it to the old bullet nib. <laughs> so the bullet nib's a lot smaller and finer. Let me get a look at that. Oh, yeah, whoa, well, yeah, look at that. It is smaller. And instead of the chisel tip, gosh, I forgot how hard those used to be <laughs> often. Gosh. They've got more of like a, a Copic kind of brush. Oh, so it's a brush end now. And that's one of the reasons I really wanted to show you guys these because Ooh. they're pretty affordable compared to Copics. And they come in such cute little colored sets. We only own three. Pop two fingers. We only own three. <laughs> only on three. So far. <laughs> plan on drawing something with these. I just wanted to quickly give you guys like a lowdown on them. <laughs> Spectrum Noir markers, a brief history. <laughs> I'm just really quickly trying to draw something out so that I can show you guys how I like to colour with he, these markers. Is he like a lizard knight? Yeah, and I didn't know where to put those fluffy feather bits so I just tied it to sort of the end of his head. <laughs> I was gonna give him a tiny little lizard sword, but I don't know if I can really fit one in. <laughs> you could have a little one. He's only a little lizard, so maybe he only has a little sword. I've been drawing some really fancy swords lately in this <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, he's not a fan. He's only like a level one lizard yeah, knight. He's a bit basic. He doesn't have the fancy stuff yet. <laughs> I'm thinking I might go with like a, a Cleopatra kind of theme. Oh, that's cool. Because your markers have got some really nice yellows and stuff. I think we've only got one yellow, but yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a really nice yellow. <laughs> Just remembered as well, because we're drawing with markers, I'll have to put a piece of paper oh, yeah. behind it, because it'll all bleed through. Yeah, guys, if you haven't got the right paper, you need to be uh, protecting your sheets. <laughs> I might try stick with, like, this theme for my collars. Oh, like a limited. Oh, yeah. wow. Instead of, like, well, maybe I could do that then. But I don't know what to put in her hand. Like, do you have any idea what I could put in her hand? Um, I'm trying to think of what insects they used to have in, like... Uh, ancient Egyptian times. Didn't they used to have like scarab beetles? Yeah, a scarab beetle would be good. Or a, or a lizard knight. <laughs> She's yeah. like, Cleopatra's like the final boss. <laughs> <laughs> so you've joined it to ancient Egypt to defeat me. I, like, I just want a level two sword. I don't want no trouble. <laughs> so you're saying in size scale, he'd really be about that big in real life. Well, he's just a tiny little lizard boy. Lizard boy. <laughs> <laughs> lizard. He's, he, yeah, he's friends with mole boy. No, not this again. <laughs> I might draw like a tiny little lizard knight guy. You know, sometimes I wonder what it's like to spend a day in Adam's head. <laughs> what, you actually draw it? <laughs> it's very empty in there. <laughs> There's not much going on in there. Remember that segment before that we edited that was all like, mole boy, mole boy, mole boy. Yeah. <laughs> lizard boy, lizard boy. That's why I imagine your head's like a big echo chamber that says the same <laughs> hello, thing over and hello, over. <laughs> hello. Are you actually drawing my lizard in the hand? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Did you decide it's too hard to draw and give up? Yeah, I was like, I'm doing this. <laughs> it's hard to put that amount of detail in a tiny little No, thing. no, I'm going to take this as a compliment that it's too hard to copy it's my art. It's far too complex. Like, I just can't do it. But what should we put in there? <laughs> a scarab beetle. 
I could put like a snake. Yeah, go for a snake then. Ah, oh, you're doing like a snake trail before you Yeah. You draw the shape then. Because obviously she's probably gonna be holding its head like up here somewhere. And have some have you ever held a snake before? No, I haven't, no. Have you? Um, I think I might have. A, a friend used to have a snake. Really? I remember at least stroking it. I've only ever really struck like guinea pigs and dogs and cats before. Oh, well, that's before. fine. So when I snuck, when I snuckled. <laughs> when, when I snorkeled with it. <laughs> <laughs> Snorkeling with snakes. <laughs> That'd be a good YouTube video. <laughs> no, when I stroked the snake, I was just shocked at like how unfuzzy and not warm it was. <laughs> Have any of you guys ever stroked a snake before? Yeah, or do any of you guys have, like, snakes or reptiles? That'd be actually pretty interesting, because I've never, like... <laughs> or have any of you ever snorkeled with a snake? <laughs> no, but I went scuba diving once. We've seen a whale. <laughs> Surprised you haven't drawn a little snorkeling mask on him. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, <laughs> he has to have, like, these weird goggle things on. How come this always happens to my pictures? <laughs> because you're always up for it. Does that work? Yep. When you were like on about making a video on these, I was like, well, I don't really like markers, but okay. <laughs> and I didn't think I'd be doing Cleopatra with a snorkeling pet snake today. <laughs> but it happened. I suppose another thing as well is that um, I don't think I'll be able to uh, just use pencil with this. I'll probably have to ink it in some way. Oh, you don't have to ink it. Don't don't these make the don't these make the if pencils you smudge? color it first. Mm. And then line it after with oh. your pencil. Oh, okay. Because I don't usually ink first. I ink after I've got all the oh, lines know. down. Maybe that's where I was going wrong. Yeah, probably. Hey. That's a fun tip for you guys. <laughs> Anyone who uses markers is going to know that. I'm just an idiot with my empty head. <laughs> <laughs> with this one, like, marker flopping around in there. Like, mm, how do you work? Are you finally colouring with these things? Yeah, so I'm going to use this colour Smoky Blue. Considering our Doodle Date sketchbooks are really cheap paper, they actually go on quite nice. Yeah, that's worth noting, guys. This isn't proper marker paper. <laughs> we have some, it's just in the other room. We actually own some. I know we had some special paper when we, we, did, this, when we did the Spectrum Noir video. We have that. But... What Spectrum Noir video? The ones where we painted with markers? Those were the Spectrum Noir. They were Winsor and Newton. Oh. <laughs> they sent us them. <laughs> oh no. Guess we're not getting any more Winsor and Newton <laughs> products anytime soon. <laughs> Oops. So what's the lizard's name? We never gave him a name. I purposely avoided every time you asked that. I'm gonna call him Larry. Larry the Lizard Boy. And he's on like a special quest to get his level 2 sword and he has to fight, he has to fight Cleopatra's snorkeling snake. <laughs> I definitely think that these work better on, um, I've got a sketchbook in the other room that you bought me. Mm. Uh, it's a Dale Rowney one, but it doesn't necessarily matter so much. It's so but cute as well, it's so tiny. It's a, a mixed media paper. Yes, it is, isn't it? Yeah. And it definitely likes markers a little bit more than this paper does. Than the Doodle Date one, which is just like... <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm seeing if Cleopatra had a pet snake, and apparently she might have done. <laughs> I thought you were looking for her on Twitter for a moment then. <laughs> I need to check out Cleopatra's latest tweets. <laughs> when is this pyramid going to be built like? She used snake venom, but not a live snake. Oh, she kept a dead snake as a pet, apparently. Maybe it's because she's taken up snorkeling. <laughs> I've done a lot of details on this. <laughs> I'm just looking at it, I'm like, oh no. And bear in mind, this paper bleeds out a little bit, so don't go right to the edge. Because oh. it'll find itself out. Okay. I always use markers really slowly because I'm slightly scared of them. <laughs> oh, are you scared of markers? I've done that thing where I've pulled off and it's going to streak. I feel I feel very frightened. I feel very vulnerable. Right <laughs> this is a really good review for people seeing our channel for the <laughs> first time. <laughs> it's like, you know, when you have a dream, you have a recurring dream where there's lots of people laughing at you and you haven't got any clothes on. <laughs> yeah. Mine is everyone's gathered around laughing at me. I'm fully dressed, but I'm using markers. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Except it's not a dream, it's real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are, where are all these people laughing at? Are you laughing at me? <laughs> no, no, no. Pats to make you feel better. <laughs> I don't need your pity. So obviously I really like these markers, and you've been using them for about two seconds you've now. You've been using them for so... about two minutes, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, what's your review of them? Oh, they bleed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that could be our paper, though. I thought he was going to say that could be their slogan. No one's <laughs> going to buy them. <laughs> buy our Spectrum Noir markers. We bleed a lot. <laughs> They're quite nice. The colours are very nice. 
<laughs> You've only used like one colour so far. And I like it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice colour. 10 out of 10 for this entire range. <laughs> <laughs> Other colours are available, but I haven't tried them. <laughs> the colours on the lids aren't very accurate to what colour actually comes out of them. So if you consider that actually looks like quite a baby blue, but the colour that comes out of it. I really like the colours that are actually in the sets, but yeah, the, the cap colours really aren't too accurate. How I combat that is I tend to do swatch sheets. Yeah, that's a really good idea. So I'm just using the really fine little end on this, which oh. is a lot finer than the old ones. Wow, that's a really bright coloured green. <gasps> no! What? It's green. Didn't you know? No! What's it called? <laughs> Pale citrus. Oh, well citrus does sound like a yellow It's a green! green. Are you serious? It's a lime green! No! Since when is gold green? <laughs> You thought that you would slowly look at me, turn the camera on, make sure it's in, meant to. make sure it's in focus, and then go. That's nice green. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cleopatra is now covered in snot trails. <laughs> oh, it looks that, fine. Well, it does to me. That's like the prettiest yellow. <laughs> no. Oh well. Weren't we just saying in a recent see, video? See guys, this is the problem, right? Pale citrus. When I think citrus, I think either orange, which it clearly ain't, or lemon, which it very well could be for me. <laughs> so yeah, so I give these markers a 0 out of 10. <laughs> no guys, if you are colorblind, you should probably ask for help. <laughs> when it says pale citrus, maybe it means pale citrus lime. No. It's time to start a petition to make lime not a citrus fruit. <laughs> Oh well. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> you say after your tantrum. <laughs> yeah, I had to let that out. <laughs> so what colour have you got now? I've no idea, it's called Moonlight. And <laughs> the, last time, the last time I checked, Moonlight wasn't a colour. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding guys. Yeah, they are good markers. He just gets cross because he's a little bit colour blind. It's unfair to be, to be mean to the markers because that was kind of my fault. But you are taking the colour names very literally. <laughs> yeah, a little bit too much. What colour is this then, oh, oh, oh genius of colour? What colour would you call this? <laughs> I wouldn't call myself oh genius of colour. Um, this is more of a yellow colour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't say! <laughs> Clearly about just looking at it like, I wish my jewellery looked like you. <laughs> After I have all this Maybe snot jewellery No, it me. might just be counterfeit jewellery. I've had bracelets that have went green on I don't think <laughs> I don't think, like, someone who was high up in ancient Egypt had counterfeit jewellery. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they had the real deal. This is the first video that you've seen. <laughs> Let me just take a minute to say sorry. We're not usually this stupid. <laughs> oh, so you're outlining now. Yeah, I was like, I think it really needed outlining. And I also want to add some little patches to... Uh, Your snake. Snorkely snake over here. Snorkely snake. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a nice uh, that's a patchy nice... snake colour. Have you decided what colour you're going to do the snorkel? Maybe green. They can be colour coordinated. <laughs> That's a really nice green. I don't think I'll ever forget that. <laughs> oh, is that a nice green he's using? I wasn't lying. Well, I, I believe you. <laughs> yeah. And now I might shade in her hair quite nice and dark. Mm. Use it using this. Using this pencil, I think. That would probably be the best way. So... This is where Adam really gets in his element. <laughs> Just get it pressed down really hard and <laughs> colour in everything. It makes me happy watching you draw. Oh, I enjoy watching you draw too. Which is kind of why we started doing this thing, didn't we? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Imagine if we hated watching each other draw. <laughs> <laughs> Found me, I hate watching you draw. <laughs> I remember once before there was someone in the comments uh, coming up with a conspiracy theory about our <laughs> thumbnails. And, and they were saying about how uh, you weren't in many thumbnails or something at the time. <laughs> and they were saying like, oh, Steph steals all the live, like she always wants to be in the thumbnail. And it's hilarious because behind the scenes we argue about who will be in the thumbnail because I'm like, I don't want to be in the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> More people will see me. <laughs> Yeah, being in the thumbnail isn't very fun. Yeah, if anything, we compete to not be in the thumbnail. Oh, please, I don't want to be in it this week. <laughs> I'm sick of having my picture taken. <laughs> I don't like having my picture taken. Yeah, that's taken, the thing for thumbnails. You have to take photos, and even though we're both comfortable doing videos, it feels weird to, like, pause and, like, take a thumbnail photo. Yeah, it doesn't feel like as... 
is real, I guess. I mean, we're still having fun when we take the pictures, but it's like, <laughs> what, what do I do? Adam literally just sits there and he's like, well, what do I do? And it's like, make a thumbnail face, and you're like, what is that? If you'd like to see something else that we've drawn with the really old spectrum With the markers, original markers over here. Yeah, it was like one of our first videos on our channel. I'll link a video to that, which is our three marker challenge in the cafe. That one was really fun, guys. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. Oh, also, what? Um, <laughs> we've put some new things in our shop. Oh yeah, guys, on our Redbubble, we'll pop a link in the description of it. We've got new stickers, including Pod Jackson, Fats are Amazing, Lawrence, and many more. <laughs> Well, that's it, but yeah, that's right, right. <laughs> three stickers. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again next week for another Doodle Dirt. Doodle Dirt.